Hello everybody, welcome back to Transport Fever, where our iron line has dropped off his first full load of iron for one million dollars. Which means uh, I should probably buy some more construction over here. Uh, buy some more trucks for the construction strip here, because this construction thing is going to be way overloaded without enough trucks. Alright, two more. And get to work. Anyway, welcome back. How's our little boat doing? Is it full? Oh, it's full. It's so good. So this boat's on a good rhythm right now. It hauls a full load of stone and then it goes back and it's full again. Have we delivered any oil yet? Not yet. We're almost there. Both of our oil ships are almost full. That'll really help our economy as soon as they arrive. Ooh. A new truck, the Ford Model 77. And a new engine, the Alco HH600. I uh, don't think I've ever used one of those before. I'm very surprised that there's so many people coming out here to check out the uh, Grand Canyon. It's kind of cool. I mean, that is a long, long route, but there's a lot of people on it. Let's see, sort by income. Number one income is the Iron Line whole line and then the tour bus look at that the tour bus is the second most profitable thing we have nice the steel line is losing money hand over fist but that's just because we haven't had any steel yet yeah perhaps we should have done this with trucks that would have been smarter no no we are producing steel <gasps> we actually have steel look at that glorious steel let's make some money on steel baby and then we'll make money on machinery once those uh, machinery trucks... Look at all the traffic in the distance. You know what? I bet we could make money on a passenger train. Look at all that traffic. Look at all this. Holy fuckballs. It slows to a crawl over here. Yeah, yeah, you know what? It looks like uh, Los Angeles to San Diego would be an amazing passenger line. I did not realize how busy that was. Very busy. Very busy. Okay, here comes our oil boats. Yes. Bring them oils. These paddle boats are just so quiet. Dump, 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 dump. Dump, 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 dump. Dump, 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 dump. All right, our, our iron line is really getting full. Where's the train? And how much can the train handle, by the way? So you might have to add some more cars. Uh, type. Iron Giant. I can handle 48. We only have 37. Okay, that's probably fine. If we arrive and there's still more iron there, like if there's more than 48, then we definitely need more cars. I hate that little swerve there. It slows down the car so much. I mean, it was necessary at the time just to get shit to, to hook up properly, but what a waste. Alright, coming into the iron. What is it, a mine? Yeah, a mine. Iron mine. I'm like, what is it? Is it an iron banana stand? No. Is it an iron truck stop? No. Alright, how much iron's here? Yeah, so there's 10 more iron here, which means we need at least one extra car. And what about the coal site? Coal site has a little extra, but it's not that much. It's mainly the iron site, just because that route is longer. Okay, and our oil boats are arriving, cool, cool. Looks like they come in one at a time, the other one's just gonna wait for it, that's fine. How much money do you make on a full load of oil? $457,000, that's um, not as much as I was hoping, honestly. All right, let's get some trucks. 
Let's see, the Ford 77 hauls more shit and it's faster. Done. Let's put three on each fruit. It's gonna be fuel alpha and we'll have fuel beta. The first license is in the bag. Now we're ready to start our airmail operations. The Postmaster General is highly inclined to grant us further licenses. What the good man doesn't need to know, however, is that as the state pays us according to the weight we transport, all we need to do is send enough thick advertising brochures for our own company to every household, and the whole business will start paying dividends. Junk mail's never made anyone so happy. All right, so this is the scandal part of the game, or part of the mission. Basically, you're gonna be hauling nothing but mail between airports at the start. But the thing is, you're not actually hauling mail, you're hauling junk. So they pay you based on the amount of weight that you haul. So it says here at the end of each month, you receive $100,000 for every line that fulfills this condition. So set up four lines between two cities and deploy a single aircraft on each line. So those lines are going to be, uh, you know, not, not exactly profitable on their own. Oh my God. I did not realize that that's what that truck stop looked like. Wow. In the top down view, this didn't look so bad, but whoa. Oh, we're losing textures too. Oh gosh, goodbye textures. I'll have to restart the game in a little bit here. Uh, in any case, we'll set up these aircraft going between the airports. This one's still locked. Uh, what airports have we unlocked? We've unlocked Phoenix. Okay. Uh, we should add this as a passenger destination. And we've unlocked Las Vegas, gotcha. Santa Barbara, we can unlock for $5 million, which I don't want to spend right now. So let me add that to the route here. Cedar Street. Phoenix Annex. Ah, I see. Okay. Actually, let's set up a direct line between um, Phoenix Annex and the airport. Where is my... There it is, right there. It's right next to you, dummy. We'll just have two buses that go back and forth to the airport. We'll call it the airport shuttle. The Phoenix airport shuttle. Oh boy, that's a lot of stone. Uh, where's the boat? Oh, the stone has doubled. The stone has doubled its production. Okay, so we need another boat on this stone route for sure. Oh, and since we're done building the dam, this place will no longer take uh, stone or take building materials. So the, the Hoover Dam is done. It's not very impressive looking, but that's the Hoover Dam. Trust me. So now we need to deliver to the industrial sector which is here, okay. Wait, is it industrial or commercial for building materials? It is industrial, okay. So let's set up a drop-off zone over here. That'll do just fine. And let's say you guys Yeah, the production, see how it's dropped to zero pretty much? That's because we no longer have an active destination for it. So let's change your route. There you go. So they now go into Las Vegas. Perfect. And that should increase the demand here, which means the production should go back up. 
Oh man, look at all this iron chilling over here. Holy fuck. Yeah, let's uh, let's modify that iron train. Back to the depot real quick. Mr. Iron Giant. You need like six more iron cars, seriously. And I'm, I'm gonna fix his track while he's in here too. Assuming I can afford it. All right, first things first, fix the track. Right here, this is the problem. This is where everything slows to a crawl. And it really doesn't want to get in there, does it? There we go. So the further down the line that I put it, the more straight of um, a line it has. So it should be able to keep its speed up for almost all of that, if not all of that. Should be fine. All right, that'll help. Now let's modify the train. So we're gonna be hauling iron. Need more iron. Is eight gonna be enough? I mean, that's all I can afford. I guess we'll go with it. What the fuck game? Game? Game, hello? Game? Game? Okay, that was weird. <laughs> well, we doubled its capacity to 96. It's not gonna be enough. You can see how much iron's over there. That's all I can afford. The steel train. Okay, it's still only hauling 14 steel. I wonder why it's only hauling 14. It's probably not even profitable. I don't really care though. As long as as long as these guys are profitable, then the actual steel train doesn't matter. So the coal train's arriving and it's not gonna be full. Yeah, that's fine. As long as it's keeping the uh, the place busy, I'm happy. How are you keeping up your speed here? 89? Oh, that's so much better. Yeah, it's slowing down once it hits the curves over here. But keeping it up to 80 is just really nice. This curve is going to slow it down a lot. Whoa, 40. Oh, gosh. All right, we might tunnel that. In fact, yeah, tunneling that's going to make a big difference in keeping speed up. It's not even everything here. Wow, there's still 40 more iron. So this iron mine has doubled its production, but I don't think the coal mine has. No, the, the coal mine has not doubled its production. That's interesting. Yeah, this little hairpin sucks. I think it was kind of necessary at the start just to keep our costs down. But uh, now that we're making some okay cash, we should get rid of it. Did I buy a second boat for the uh, stone line? I think I did, right? Where's the stone line? Oh my god, am I, am I blind? Oh, there it is, the grand stone. Oh, there's only one. Okay, we need a second one on that. This place has doubled production, but we still only have one boat. All right, now that we have some cash, 
pause real quick and throw down. I think we're just going to put down a nice big tunnel. All right, let's take a look at it. It's not even that expensive. Looks good to me. Should be able to keep our speed up through that, yeah. 99, that's the slowest, the slowest it gets is 99. I'll take it. I will take it. It's kind of weird how everything builds instantly, right? Like, shouldn't it take a long time for a tunnel like that to get dug? Apparently not. All right, let's watch this path now. Oh, right, how do I adjust the speed? I don't know, whatever, watch the path. Gonna go to full speed right about here. Now that we're over the hill. Nice straight line there. Yep, still full speed. Yep, pretty good speed. Nice. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, that was unexpected. And yeah, look at that. We kept the speed up all the way to the station. Nice. Very nice. Alright, pause. And I'm going to no longer require that it full loads. And just let it go. What is this? There's no names for it or anything. What the fuck is this? There's no names for it. Okay, it's not a locomotive. It's not a wagon. It's a multiple units. Okay. So we have the M300, which is like a little passenger train. It's like a trolley that goes on train tracks. Think of it like a trolley, but it goes on train tracks. It's self-powered and it hauls some people around. This sucker, whoa, 177 top speed. Wow, $5 million, but look at that top speed, holy shit. I would love to build some of these along the coast between Santa Barbara, Los Angeles, and San Diego, especially between Los Angeles and San Diego. Wow. Okay, I'm excited to build some of those suckers. Only two steel, really? Why is there like no production here? You really should be producing a lot of machines for me, bro. There's only 12 steel here. What is the fucking holdup? Okay, you're at your limit. That should force you to upgrade, right? I mean, he's at production limit of 100 of 100. That should force an upgrade. Upgrade, piece of crap. Here comes a nice load of iron. How much is it? 72 iron, all right. 1.5 million, not bad. Shit. I wonder what it is. Why is the steel not upgrading? Oh, there we go. Upgrade scheduled in four months. Okay, we did it. We forced him to upgrade. Nice. I'm gonna upgrade our coal train as well. I think I'll add, mm, let's say two more cars. 
So I want that coal mine to upgrade as well. Get back out there, Coltrane. Think our machine trucks are delivering at the same station? Are they? Nope, we've got three trucks on Alpha and three trucks on Beta. They have almost the same color though. Change the color. Make it more obvious what they're doing. Yeah, there's just like no machine production, which is very surprising. Okay, it's up to 26 now. It's better now, it's better, it's fine. Look at this fucking traffic, holy shit. I really wanna capitalize on that, wow. These guys do just free reign again. They don't have to be full loads anymore. All right, how much steel are you hauling this time? 21, that's a little better. What up? Hey, an airplane, the DC-3, and the Streamline Coach, New Mexico, and the 442 Hiawatha, and the Zurich. All right, what the fuck are these? Let's take a look at that Zurich first. What is it? Uh, it's this. It's a passenger liner for 125 people. Okay. What about the other stuff? Check out the airport. Let's see, so we could do the Junkers to go ahead and finish that mission. Yeah. Then we could do the Dornier or the DC-3. Okay. Oh wow, it's cheaper somehow. That's amazing. That DC-3 is nice and cheap. You know what, let's go ahead and do that mission. Let's get that set up, because that will give us a lot of money, and I can use that money to set up a rail line. Yeah. So it says, at the end of each month, we receive $100,000 for every line that fulfills this, this uh, condition. Set up at least four lines with two cities, and to deploy a single aircraft on each line, okay? So let's deploy an aircraft between LA and Vegas. I'm just use Junkers. Who wants to go to Vegas? Apparently you do. The gambling line. Set up another line between uh, San Diego and Phoenix. Our airmail cartel has been busted, and the politicians are now looking for a scapegoat. Of course. We need to ensure that we emerge from this affair reasonably unscathed. If we don't slip the right people a few bills immediately, we can forget the landing permission for Los Angeles and any future licenses. Oh, apparently we got caught. Busted. Okay, I wonder if that, I wonder if that fixes, uh, man, I have not seen that before. So this is, this is my second attempt at this mission. And the first time I definitely did not have that event that busted. I did not get caught the first time. Huh. Call this the sunshine line. Go all the way to Phoenix. It's got another route from uh, LA to San Diego.
Oh, the SoCal line. And one more from Phoenix. Whoops, no, 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 no. One more from Phoenix to Vegas. We'll call it the penguin line. Because when you think of uh, Phoenix and Las Vegas, you think of penguins, right? I know I do. All right, that should be four airplanes, correct? Yes, okay. Oh, there's no airplane on that line? Really? Well, where's my spare airplane then? Oh, did I only buy th I only bought three? I'm a dummy. There you go. And we'll make money off of those. $100,000 a month is a lot of change. Do you want to go ahead and buy the rights in Santa Barbara? Not really. Did this upgrade? It did. So we're making a lot more fuel now. We're gonna need to haul fuel a little faster. Uh, let's upgrade this. We currently have three trucks on each line. Let's bring it up to six trucks on each line just to guarantee that we get this fuel out of here. Let's get three more. Put you all on the fuel alpha. And you guys go on fuel beta. Man, fuel alpha and fuel beta have like the same color. It's a little bit weird make them different. There you go. And how are we doing on oil overall? Oh, there goes an airplane. Hello. Can't click on it. Oh, there we go. Whoa, 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 Oh, okay. Why don't we end on that happy note? Thanks for watching, everyone. I've been Shen, you've been you. Apparently, these airplanes are non-physical entities. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day.